Alright, hello everyone, I hope you guys have been having a wonderful day today, and guess what, it is time for Seal Ravnica Alliance on Magic Arena. Are you guys excited? I am super excited for this. And tomorrow, uh, depending you know, like uh, your stores and everything, you can go play FNM and wait just until midnight and then enjoy the real taste, the real feeling of the actual cars. I will be doing my pre-release. In, uh, I live in South Jersey, the United States, so I will be doing my pre-release at the Coin Book Store, which is located in Glassboro, New Jersey. If you guys are near the area, you should definitely go check it out. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, and uh, let's do this. And we got a new follower, so thank you, Jancy. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the little emotion that happened when you uh, click follow. So let's see what we have here. No, another thing about the uh, the arena, I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, is that they changed the layout a little bit. So when you go to the uh, to the store, this is what you see now. And of course, you know, like, I don't know if you should be spending $100 on gems, but that's totally up to you. And here are all the different promotions and things that you can get. And uh, if you want to do something else, you just click here in the gems. You can click here on the packs. And yeah, you can get all the nice new packs. And, you know, as usual, a thousand uh, coins for the new packs. And also, you know, the daily events and everything has changed. So now you will be getting the new packs instead of uh, the old Ravnica packs. Uh, I believe that's already too much talking. Oh, we're not doing decks today. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> Alright, let's go for the seal event, because that's what you guys are here for. We're going to be paying those 2,000 coins. The pain is real. Which is not too bad, you know, it's like, uh, technically it's a little cheaper than if you were paying for, like, the real cars. Because you can get, um, I believe 3,400 gems for, like, 19.99, so it's not too bad. Alright, let's do this. Are you sure you want to purchase this item? Yes, I am sure. Alright, so we're going to be getting a total of six packs. Alright, let's open them. And I believe it's just going to work like any other seal. Oh, but you don't really get that many cars. Hmm. Oh, these are all the rares that we open in our pack seal. Okay, continue. Oh, so they just automatically open all the packs for you guys to so just go through and like check it out. All right, that makes more sense. All right, so what do we get for one drops? Oh my god. Let's see this uh the sixth drop. So it has riot. Uh whenever burn enters the battlefield, choose up to one. Uh if I start a creature you don't control or destroy target land with an ac activated ability that isn't mana ability. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I wanna pay the um uh, the six mana, but that's interesting. Surrounded Shaman can be blocked by more than one creature, okay. Whenever uh, deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact and enchantment that player controls. That's actually really good, if you think about it. Because, like, there really aren't that much uh, enchantment removal. As it is right now. Unless you play, like, Naturalizer. So, what are we building today? And these are the lands that we got. Oh, okay. So we got two of that. Technically three. So I think red and black will be our go-to. Just, just based on the mana that we got. And maybe like splashing something else, like some white. Are we gonna go three colors? All right, let's go see like our actual creature. Let's see what we got in white. All right, so we got a defender. We can pay one and sacrifice it. To uh, target creature you control gains indestructible until the end of turn. That's not bad for a 3-1. That's actually not that bad. Alright, we can play one black and twilight partner gains dead touch until the end of turn. Not bad for a 1-2. Whenever uh, another creature enters the battlefield that you control, you gain one life. Okay. And summary judgment, instant. It deals 3 damage to target tapped creature. If you cast this spell during your main phase, it deals 
Spike damage to that creature instead. Ah. So we have Addendum. That's actually pretty cool. So as long as you do it in your main phase so you don't play in your opponent's turn, it deals fight damage instead. That that could be relevant. Exile target creature with power 4 or greater. He has Vigilance. Uh, whenever this guy attacks, untap another target creature you control. Okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. Control creatures you control gain indestructible until the end of turn. Out of them. If you cast this during your main phase, put a plus one plus one counter on each of those creatures and they gain vigilance into wow that's actually legit so okay i think we're definitely gonna be playing white just because uh our one drops are actually really good and uh i really like this kind of like uh where is it yeah i really like the summary judgment really it's really good oops now let's see what we get in black i mean uh Yeah, let's see how we in black. A 3 drop, exile target creature with power 3 or less. Dead Tosh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jancy. You're more you're more than welcome to type on the actual chat. If you do, uh, everything you say will actually appear on the screen. And I don't know if you noticed that when you click the follow button, uh, there was a pretty cool animation there that happened on the screen as well. But I do my I put a little bit of my time, you know, trying to like make everything look legit. <laughs> and you can also um, use your mouse and look through the cars. From just by looking at the screen, which is pretty cool too. Alright, two two dead touch. Okay, not bad. One drop is a lifelink. I tap T and he has plus two plus two until the end of the turn. Uh, not bad, not great, but not bad. It has afterlife. All right, so afterlife. Whenever this creature dies, create a one-one white and black spirit token with flying. Uh, I really like this. I think I'm gonna definitely put that one in. And okay, so we already talk about that one. Under city embrace. That your opponent sacrifice a creature. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you gain four life. Not bad if we have like big guys. And it is an instant, so you can actually play this during your opponent's turn. We'll think about that one. Alright, so whenever this guy enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put two plus one plus one counters on this guy. Then scry two. I really like this the scry ability. And maybe we can sack the guy that is the one one, get a token, so we like we gain some value. Yeah, we'll put it in the deck. Alright, so this will bring us to red. So so far in black, we only have two creatures, so we might or may not keep it. Destroy okay, so choose one, one drop. Destroy target Actify, destroy target creature with Defender. Um, not bad since we saw a few things with Defender. I don't know how it's gonna do in Seal, so I'm not I'm not sure about this yet. All right, so there you go. Talking about Defenders, another one drop. The Spear, uh, Spewer deals one damage to each player. All you have to do is tap it. Not bad. So you can actually do that at the end of your opponent's turn and pinch it for one. So sure, we'll keep that one. Alright, that's what's next. A storm strike. Target creature gets plus one plus O oh, and gains first strike and you until the end of turn and you scry. I like the idea of scrying and it's only a one drop. Uh this is if we splash green and this thing is plus two plus two by paying four. Right, let's see what else we got in bread. Oh we got two copies of this. What is it? So burn bright. Creatures you control get plus two plus O oh, until the end of turn. Riot. Now the Ryo ability, a creature with Ryo enters the battlefield with such or your choice of plus one plus one counters or haste. Okay. Uh, it's a three drop, and you may discard whenever this uh, whenever this guy attacks. You may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Not bad. All right, deals X damage to your creatures, where X is the number of gates you control. So if we play those three colors, we can potentially deal four damage. So I don't know; it's too conditional. Not good for uh, for the seal event. All right, create a number of one one red uh, goblins creatures. 
equal to 2 plus the number of cards named Goblin Gatherer in your graveyard. Again, too conditional for drafting, so I will not be doing that. Oh, this is actually really good. This is like the new Lightning Strike. It deals 3 damage to any target. So the way this works is that you may cast this spell for its spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if your opponent lost life this turn. So it could be for like, you know, combat or whatever. So uh, I do keep that one. Do I only have one? Oh, I kind of like this. Destroy target land and scry too. And we have two of those. Okay. Definitely want to play both. Oh, there you go. Big guy. Redactyl attacks each combat ball if I, uh, you have to attack though. Um, you know, it's a nice fight drop. Let's see what we got here. A six drop. Whenever he enters the battlefield, counter count the number of plus ones plus one counters on creatures you control. Creatures your opponent controls with power less than or equal to that number can block this turn. That's pretty good if you're building a deck that creates a lot of plus one plus ones. So maybe. And now we have Electro Dominance. It deals X damage to any target. You may cast a card which converted mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Okay, so it's kind of like you're double dipping. So you pay, let's say, 5 and it deals 5 damage. And now you can cast anything that is 5 or less from your hand to the battlefield. So I see the possibilities. Like, this is like a really uh, interesting vampire. It's just. You know, like late game or something like that. I like it. I'll keep it. So as of right now, we already have 34 cars. Uh, and a total of 17 lands. It seems, it seems just okay. It doesn't really seem very aggressive or anything. I will have to see how it goes, like how it does, you know? I mean, uh, it's not really destructible. The touch is okay. We don't really have any like big creatures. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not very convinced about it. I think. I think I'm just gonna drop black completely. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, what is this? Ace. Hey, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice a creature. When you do. Fireblade Artist deals 2 damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, what is this right here? Destroy target artifact creature or Planeswalker. Whoa, that instant is, is, is badass. And then this guy. The spectacle. Uh, for 2. Or you can do uh, Head Cross Gains Dead Touch until the end of turn. Or you can give it plus 1, minus 2 until the end of turn. Okay, so you may cast it for 2 instead of paying the 3 mana. Uh, I feel like these 3 cards just made it worth it playing the 3 colors. And what is this angel right here? Oh, troll actually. <laughs> Not an angel, it's a troll. Whenever a troll enters the battlefield, he deals 2 damage to each opponent and you gain 2 life. That's not bad and he has flying. Okay, I can deal with this uh, artifact, and I got two of those, so I can get some. I can, I can get to draw some cards. All right, all right. Let's see what this is about. Um, or exactly a forty? I really like this car. If especially if you're playing uh, red and green, every creature gets plus four, plus two, and gets trampled into the end of turn. And Collision is actually really good. It deals 6 damage to any target creature with flying. That pretty much destroys a lot of uh, the flying creatures right now in Standard. Oh, I cannot wait for a Standard. Everything is going to change. Everything is going to be different after this set. That is for certain. Alright, so I'm going to be playing all of this. Ooh, what is this? Symphons of the Guild is all colors in flying hex proof from mono color it that's really interesting
Okay, so it's not an artifact. It's literally like all colors. It's everything. And it has hexproof for mana color it. So in order to kill it, you have to do something that has two colors. You cannot just like bend fire it or something like that to kill it. I think I definitely want to keep this in the deck actually. Because that will definitely help. And I'm going to take something out. What can I take out? Hmm. I guess one of those cats, maybe. Or should we just keep it 41 and say fuck it? <laughs> I mean, we could. I, I think I'm just gonna keep it with 41 and see what happens. Alright, let's. It's time to roll. So the reward, if we win zero matches, I guess, we get 200 gems back and we get three packs, which is not bad. And the reward, if we go undefeated, which we're praying for it, it will be a total of 2200 gems and three packs, which is actually pretty good. We can lose up to three times, so we can actually modify the deck so we can keep winning. I feel like we'll feel pretty satisfied. Let's see. Maybe if we like have four wins or five wins, I'll feel pretty satisfied. I'll be like, okay, not too bad. All right, too much talking is actually play some magic. Are you guys ready to rumble? I mean, I like this hand. There's a lot of things that I can cast. Unfortunately, not this. But I think I'll keep it, and hopefully, I will get another land. Then we're playing against Oxy Alias. Let's say hello. And we're gonna play this guy first because he enters tap. Nice. He has menace. He can do plus. Two plus oh, we're paying four mana. Okay, not too bad. So so far you can do one damage. Um, I'm definitely gonna play my guy with that touch because even if it swings, I will take it. But like eventually, I can double block and like kill it. All right, so my opponent is also playing three colors as well. Ooh, nice. That's a nice move right there. Nice. That's why this card is gonna be so good in the center. I mean I still got my 1-1 one, one flyer, which is good. Uh I think I think I might play this. And I will give it actually the plus one plus one current counter. And uh Sure, I'll attack in the air for one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, you're just gonna put all you, all you coins in one car. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll get there eventually at some point. I mean, I guess I'll cast this. I want to scry, so I'm gonna give this to my angel that can fly. Yes, definitely. I keep that land right there because that's what I need. I need lands. Uh, I mean, I'll race you. I don't care. 
Uh, do I want to discard something? I actually don't want to discard anything. I mean, I could discard the main defender, but I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm just going to decline. And so far in the race, we're winning, so that's always a good thing. Alright. So, Ball Rack Clan Crusher. He can tap it and remove a plus one plus counter from a creature you control. Uh, and he deals two damage to any target. Not bad. So, he can remove uh, a plus one plus one from this guy. Hmm. Do I want to put this defender? Because I want to use the ability to draw a card and see what I get. So I will have to attack in order for that to happen. I mean, I could do this in order to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cast this actually. Now all my guys have an Instructable and they'll get plus one, plus one. So I can swing and I can use the ability. Yeah, I'm actually gonna discard my defender. And there you go, I drew a plane. Okay. And my opponent is down to six. Nice. And all those plus ones, plus ones, they stay. That's why like that card is so good. All right, let's see what we got. I mean, we could use the... I think I'm actually going to destroy his land. So he doesn't have green source. And I get to scry twice, so that's actually pretty badass. Uh... I guess that's okay for now, actually. Yeah, I'll keep it that way. I mean, I could. Yeah, I'll activate the ability and I'll swing with everything. He'll have to block somehow. Well, now my my little kitty has a uh, has that touch. Um, I'm not going to discard card this time around. Decline. Okay, so at this point... I'm just gonna be casting my big guys, and I feel like we have the advantage. Uh, I will not attack this turn. And our opponent just scoops because he knows there's nothing he can do. Alright, not bad at all guys. We actually won our very first uh, seal event with a new set. So I'm actually very excited about that. So we got one win, so at least we know that for sure we're getting 400 gems. But come on, 
The goal is to do everything. Now, maybe the reason why we won is because we're running 41 cars. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, don't ever feel afraid. Oh, so, uh, Jancy, the way you do it is that you go to the chat section and you can just type whatever you want and it will show up on the video. Okay, someone just came in and said, oh, nice, I see you, run chat. Okay, cool. Oh, you I was on the one of you other videos. All right. All right, it's all good. So, uh, okay, you're just making sure it is your chance. Okay, cool, nice. But yeah, now everything you type something, it will show on the uh, on the screen, as you can tell. Now, going back to the game, um, this hand is actually pretty decent since we can uh, put these guys down and hopefully we can ramp to get our 5-5, uh, our five five, the call 7, and we're going first for, for the first time. Alright, so we're playing against You're the Knight, so let's say hello and be polite. And um, I guess I'll play this first and just pass the turn. So this deck is uh, red, white, and black. And um, I just put a lot of the new things together. It doesn't quite have like a name yet. But what I try to do is uh, put enough, you know, like one drop, two drops, and then put like big drops to like kill the game. So it has like a momento. Uh, okay, when I return. So right now we're going kind of slow because we only have a defender. He cannot attack. But at least he will like defend us. <laughs> And our opponent is like not doing anything. So like if we would have kept like a more aggressive hand, we will be like paying the consequences. Uh okay, we're gonna add the turn. But yeah, Jensi, uh are you excited for the pre-release? So are you coming down to Glassboro or are you gonna stay local? Pass, pass. My turn. I wonder where's my opponent playing. Um, I'll cast this for now. Oh, so he has a lot of like counter spells. Okay. Ooh, nice. I see what you do now. I'm definitely going to. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of some of his lands. Some of that blue. Because I feel like with him not having any of his blue sources, we will be able to uh, to kill it. Oh, you going in for Simic? Okay, nice. Uh, we have plenty of land, so I'm gonna put this land on the bottom, and I'm gonna keep it like that. I really wanna cast out my uh, synth of kill pack, cause I feel that once it comes down, he's not able to do any to do anything about it. Alright, so hopefully he doesn't have any like counter spells that cost two. Uh, I'll block. I mean, that's fine. So, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you may sacrifice a creature, when you do, it deals 2 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Uh, I'm... Hmm. 
I'm just gonna pass the turn. Oh no, we're not attacking. I'm just gonna end my turn. Oh, you're going to see me? Okay, yeah, I'm going to the comic book store to do my uh, my pre-release. Yeah, that resolves. Alright, so whenever this guy enters the battlefield, into your next turn, creatures can attack or your planeswalker you control unless they pay two for each of those creatures. Okay. I mean, it's all good. I'm not really planning to attack. Decline. I'm not going to sacrifice anything. I'm definitely going to cast this though. Because it's all tapped out. And it's definitely going to keep the field. Nice. And it has hexproof. Woohoo! Uh, I'm not going to attack. And look what we drew. So uh, whenever this guy enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on this guy and then scry two. So I think we're definitely going to be doing that and we're going to be sacrificing this guy. So I will end up having like a freaking 5-5. Five five. So yeah, the excitement is real. Like the first match we did really well and now we're playing against like a control type of deck. And we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad. And I freaking love this guy as draft. Like, if you guys open this when you're doing your seal event, like, you should definitely, uh, you know, keep it. Uh, we're going to decline that. Uh, we'll pull the land down. And we're definitely gonna cast this. And yes, we are sacking this creature. Uh, we don't need any more land, so that will go down. And I will be attacking like that. And yeah, he has one ones that he can block with. But you know, like, after two turns, that's pretty much all he can do right now. And hopefully we draw something good. Depending on what we draw next turn, we will decide to uh, sack our artifact or not. Because I feel like with like, what, like, seven mana, that's like plenty of mana. Alright, let's see what is our friend doing. Two blue and one white. Is that like a white board that he could use? We play magic. Oh shoot, he exiled my big guy. Okay, not a big deal. At least he couldn't exile my uh, x -fame. Play your magic. Um, how am I doing this? Yeah, I think I'm a tray. Ooh, nice, we got a kitty. Uh, okay, we're definitely gonna cast a kitty. And then we are going to destroy this. So we get two more lands. I mean, two more cars, not lands. Please don't give me lands. Okay, good. Uh, this is good. So we're going to attack. He will block, which is not a big deal. This creature dies. And now, uh... Wait, how come you just skip my face? I didn't end my turn. I should be able to play this in my second main. What a ripoff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's messed up. During your turn, spells you cast... Blah. During your turn, spells your opponent cast cost one more to cast. And abilities your opponent activates cost one more to activate. Unless they're mana activated abilities. Okay. I mean, he doesn't have that touch, so I guess I'll just take the fight, the fight damage. Oh yeah, that was that was annoying. I don't know why I was not able to. Uh... Yeah. 
I guess we'll go to attacks first. Then we're going to attack like that. Next. Okay. And now we are going to get this guy. For the one cost. And I want to kill the freaking 3-3. Three -three. And now I want to cast my big guy. I'm not gonna be playing my mountain because I don't know my I don't want my opponent to know that I have a land. I want him to like be like, oh what else is there? And I'm gonna leave that open so I can activate that touch. So now I will end my turn. Oh Lana, how you doing? Thank you for coming back, I appreciate it. Dun, 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 we're playing magic! Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, the XP is really good, especially in uh, in Seal. He has Hexproof for all five colors, so you have to like kill it with some, like uh, I don't know, more than one color stuff. I don't know if that makes sense or not. <laughs> hey Brandon, how you doing bro? Are you excited? Tomorrow is the day. Oh yeah, uh, never mind, you guys cannot make it. I keep forgetting about that, sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Are you actually going to be able to make it to any of the pre-release, Brandon? Or are you going to be working the whole weekend? Alright, so my opponent just play, uh, paid 2 white. And I don't know if he's actually casting something or not. He D brought me down to 7, but I feel like we're making a nice comeback. And I already play a lot of the lands. And I, uh, I just cried 2 lands on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I see. He's gonna like go fishing pretty much. Hoping to get something good. Alright, he's definitely not going to attack, I suppose. Oh, he is going to attack. Oh, he's not going to attack. Okay. Ooh, nice. So, whenever he enters the battlefield, he deals 2 damage to each opponent and you gain 2 life. That's actually pretty dope, and we're gonna cast that right now, because we definitely need some life. Oh, sorry bro, you wanna be working all weekend? Uh, it's all good though, um... At least you can maybe like, pre-order some of the cards that you need, or later on, you know, buy a box. Maybe you can do the event, you know, buy a box, win a box. Which is, uh, you know, you buy a box, and you build a deck around it, and you play against other people, and if you win the tournament, you earn another box. Best case scenario, you made like 100 bucks. Uh, okay, so we are going to move to combat. Yeah, all, everyone attacks by you. The kitty doesn't attack. So we know for sure fight damage is going to go through. I don't know if he's going to be blocking or not. Oh, he's not blocking. He's going to take it like a man. He goes down to two life. All right. Uh, I'm just going to end my turn. I wonder why he used to the whole damage. Like, like I'm actually honestly curious. What does he have in his hand? He has like a white board. Did I play? Did I play my flying guy too early? I don't know. He deals two damage, three damage to target creature. Okay, so. Oh, since he's playing his main, he deals actually five damage. All right, got it. What does this guy do? It's an enchantment. So whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, you okay, he's just gonna give up. Alright, good games, bro. So this deck is actually doing pretty well. We have two victories in a row and we're actually playing 41 cards. Nice. Alright, let's go for the next one. Hopefully we keep it on, you know. If we win all seven matches, I'll be super happy. It's cause like, you know, we're making some profit and we get to play it again. But yeah, one of the main reasons why I decided the three colors is because of the uh, the lands that we got. Because we got a lot of dual lands, you know, that helps a lot with mana fixing. Yeah, the enter tab, but you know, still. So, if you are not following me yet, you should definitely click the follow button. If you do, you're going to see a pretty cool animation. Follow me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being too creepy right now. Uh, this is good. We got one of fish. And we get to cast our early cards. Yeah, so definitely keeping it. Alright, we're playing against Parkway. Let's say hello. Now, at this point, it's usually when, like, seal events and drafts get intense, because at this point, my opponent also won his, like, 
first two matches. So that means he also has like a pretty decent deck. Now I like this uh, hound, this doggy, because you can sack it and give indestructible to another creature. And I'm really digging the afterlife, because it's kind of like they have to kill your creature twice pretty much. So Lana, how about you? Are you also working the whole weekend? And Jancy, I know you were uh, on vacation, right? Do I want to do the? Yeah, I definitely want to play this. Results. Um, I think I'm just gonna swim with everything, and hopefully my opponent doesn't have like you know any removal. And yeah, this guy's a defender, so it, like I cannot attack with it. Now what I really need is to draw a little bit more lands. Pass, pass. My turn. Uh, decline. Ooh, nice. So, we will cast this. Um, I mean, it's an instant, so I will go for attacks first and see what my opponent does. And then after that, I'll decide if I want to cast it or not. But most likely, if he's going to take the damage, then yeah. Alright, so in response of you doing that, I am going to give my guy plus one plus oh and I'm going to scry. Uh, yes, I'm definitely going to keep that on the top because I definitely need that land. It's going to come tap, but at least, you know, I have it. I find it really interesting though that he decided to put that on his main, main deck. There you go, he finally cast something. Alright, if a creature dying cause of a trigger ability of a permanent you control to the trigger ability, oh, why can I even read? That ability triggers an additional time. Creatures, creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to decline that. So pretty much if you like our opponent cast something that has an ability, the ability goes off twice. Which is it's not really not that bad. Uh... I mean, I could swing with both of my creatures, and uh, depending how he blocks, I can sack this. I think I'm gonna do that. I wanna like go for the aggressive, for the aggressive side of my deck. Oh, he does not block as he knows. End of my turn. Alright, so whenever the imp enters the battlefield, you may exile target creature card from your graveyard. If you do, you gain two life. Cool. He doesn't have any creatures on his graveyard, so that's not happening. Uh, pass. Pass. My turn. Decline. Nice, a land. I'm gonna be playing this. I'm actually gonna keep the land in the hand, because I might use his ability. Next. Uh... No attacks this time. And I'm gonna end my turn. So next turn, my 6-5 has to attack, but like if he block, oh there you go, he has a 5-3. That bad, that's nice. And he has afterlife too. Um I'm going to the client now. Sweet. I definitely need to scry, so I'm gonna be casting this and I guess I'll get rid of this for now. Oh yeah! So, how many lands do we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, that actually works perfectly that way, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Done. And yes, I am playing my land. Uh, well, this guy has to attack. So, next. Next. Resolves. Mm. You are not attacking. You are not attacking. Only you. And in response, I'm gonna give indestructible to my guy. 
But that's one of the main reasons why I love this freaking dog so much. Because it's a good defender in seal. But at least you get, you know, like, you plus one, plus one. And he, that creature had afterlife twice, so he got four freaking flyers, which, you know, it's not too bad. Ooh, that's a really nice combo. Whenever you enter the battlefield, creatures to control get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. So, that's gonna be a lot of damage just right there. Ouch. Yeah, those flyers are something. That's actually a really nice combo of my opponent. Uh, going to the climb. Yeah, can I really do anything? And this guy has to swing. So, yeah, I feel like... Uh, it's not GG quite yet. But we're really close to it. Ooh, yeah, that's GG now. Good game, bro. Well, you know, we were meant to lose at some point. That deck was pretty good. So now you guys know, if you want to be doing your seal event, if you if you freaking get that card, definitely play it, because it's definitely worth it. But hey, it's not the end of the world. We still, we still get two wins and only one loss. So let's continue. And once again, thank you for everyone watching. I really appreciate it. And if you are not a follower yet, what are you waiting for? Click that follow button and see all the animations and everything. I make animations for literally everything. If you uh, do beats, if you do um, subscription, follow, and you know, whatever you want. Now, if you want me to play a song in particular, just let me know in the chat. And I'll try to find it. Actually, send me the link of like a YouTube or something. Ah, uh, this hand. I mean, I like the cards in it, but I don't like the mana. And my opponent is going first, so I'm definitely going to mulligan. Um, I mean, this is a lot better. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this one. Oh yeah, I'm definitely keeping it, because I got a kitty. One of the reasons to win the magic is by having kitties, like everyone knows that. Oh yeah, fear my cat. <laughs> now I'm pouring some drink. Um, do I want to trade? Sure, I'll trade you. He doesn't have like first strike or anything, so it's all good. Oh, really? Nice. Alright, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. That's awesome. We just need more lands and more creatures. <laughs> wow, our pony had a really nice pool. Okay. Now I wonder if he's just gonna like buff his creature up and that's how his deck works. If that's the case, once I get a uh, one more black source, I can just kill his one creature. And that will probably slow him down a lot. There are people that do that, you know? Like they just like to have few creatures and just buff them up. Alright, at least I got a defender. Plus what attack each turn, but you know. We are playing magic. And we are losing right now. Oh, interesting. It's a 2-3 with reach. Okay. Uh, I am blocking. He only has one mana open, so I wonder what he could do. Because this thing doesn't produce mana, and this thing doesn't produce mana either. Sacrifice two creatures, 
Target player loses two life, life link. Okay, wait, what? Alright, so you can tap it and sacrifice two other creatures, any number of tiger players, each loses two life, and sacrifice a creature, you add two. Interesting, so that's like a combo. Okay. Uh, I'm impressed, I have to say. I wish I could play this, but I cannot. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, it enters tap. Uh, you can play two and return it from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only during your turn and only if an opponent has lost life this turn. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll I'll just have to kill this right now. Because that ability is too badass. Alright, so if I don't draw anything good, I'll have to sack this. Alright, we're down to 12, guys. Scary moments. And my opponent has a total of 5 life. I mean, right now, if I draw my uh, my card that allows me to kill like one of his lands, it actually will be pretty good. Get rid of his uh, white source. Alright, I'm gonna suck this. Oh shoot, I cannot sack this and I already did it. Okay, good. Didn't actually happen. Uh pff. I need one more freaking red source in order to sack this or a black source. Oh, this is gonna suck. It's not in my turn then. No we were doing so well. <laughs> we were doing so well guys, what happened? Yeah, we're gonna pass. Pass, uh, take the 4 damage like a man, go down to 7. I wonder if my opponent is actually gonna cast something or not. Oh, of course, look. Okay. So, whenever, uh, whenever he attacks, every creature an opponent controls can block this turn. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that resolves. And it's my turn now. Yes, finally. I mean... I am playing the survival game right now, so... I will destroy this creature, which is the biggest one. And I will just end my turn. And now for sure next turn I can sack this and hopefully draw something good and survive. I'm on the clock right now, so I don't know what's gonna happen. He could just bump his creatures now and win the game, but okay. At least he couldn't do that. I need something good, <laughs> otherwise I'm dead. Alright buddy, what you gonna do? Ooh, be another red source. Uh, whenever this guy enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. If if you pay the cost instead, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Okay, that resolves. Well, he couldn't pay the raid cost because he doesn't have enough red sources. Resolves. I mean, that would have been great a lot sooner, because now like I can cast it, but I still die when he swims with everything. I guess I'll sack it just to see if I can get anything. Oh, I don't know how to freaking count. I can't even do that. Alright, good game. You win. No. I mean, my opponent had a really sweet deck to be honest, and he drew everything he needed to in the right times. So right now we're two and two, and we can only lose one more time. So let's play, and hopefully this time around we actually win.
And we're playing against the Stygian Dragon. Alright, I like the hand right away because I see the land. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I like that. Alright, we'll keep it. I like this guy because at the end of my turn I can spin him for one. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, we see our opponent is way more polite than we are. Let's say hello back. And we're definitely gonna cast our little defender. The future has arrived. And we're playing magic cards. Hopefully we don't die. Gotta win. We gotta win, 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 win. Uh, I'm blocking, buddy. Well, at least I'll put my defenses up. Alright, guys, we got the cat. We're good. I should be able to tap him at the end of his turn. <laughs> nice. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but at least we got rid of his one creature. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of mana ramping. And now our guy has that touch. And we're gonna end our turn. Oh, no attacks. <laughs> and as I said, we're gonna end the turn. Other creatures you control get plus one plus O. Oh. Whenever a non tickle creature you control dies, uh, Diva deals one damage to an entire creature. Oh, that's that's nice. I mean, this guy still has defender, so he cannot attack. Uh, we're gonna pass. Uh, I mean, I can tray, and then he'll do. I want to try now. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Why is it doing that? Oh, I have to click in every single thing. That's fine. It still has that touch. Wait, what? Oh, because he actually didn't touch it? Is that what it is? Alright, I'll tap it for one. That was, that was lame. Alright, we need to do a whiteboard. So we're gonna be casting this and we're actually gonna be playing three. Uh, cast a card with converted mana cost X or X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Okay, let's do this. Kill that. Okay, sure, results. Sara dude, sup? Sara dude, Rafaga. Hmm, who's that? <laughs> Hi, Sara dude, whoever you may be. But Rafaga, Rafaga sounds like Peruvian. Eres de Peru? Uh, no tengo ni idea quién eres, pero si eres de Peru, hola. I had to say that in Spanish because you may be one, someone that I know from Peru. Thanks.
Uh, I'm gonna end my turn. So, Sarah, do you mysterious person? Who are you? You're not from Peru. Are you French? <laughs> Only very few people call me. Uh... Okay, I'm Brass. Only very few people call me Rafa. <laughs> Oh, okay, that resolves. I'm like, my curious now to be like, who is this person? So, Umbras? Is that you? Is that you, Umbras? Is it really you? I haven't seen you in like forever. Uh, I'm gonna be casting this little guy. And I'm gonna be casting this to get rid of. Uh, what should I kill? Red or black? Uh, we don't want these reds. The one that is open. Umbras! Oh my god. That's my reaction for you. I haven't seen you in like forever. The the happiness is real. Alright, I'm gonna keep my hand just I mean not my hand the deck just like that. I'm gonna cry, he's so happy. Don't forget to follow me. <laughs> oh, Fras. I haven't seen him forever. How was friends, by the way? <laughs> but yeah, can you believe I'm playing Magic? Remember, like, back in the days, like, back in 2008, um, you know, like, everyone was playing Magic, and I was like, nerds. <laughs> and now I'm the one playing Magic. Isn't that crazy? I'm a star. Oh, thank you, Umbras. You're the best. You need to come over here to like uh, to visit me. I haven't seen you in like forever. Alex is like so like he's huge now. Soon he'll be taller than you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I'm definitely gonna be playing this to give all my creatures the plus one plus one. And I'll be playing this guy as well. I probably should do it the other way around, but whatever. I'm excited. But yeah, bro, you should definitely come and uh, and visit me. I miss you. Oh, he he has two of these. Did he just kill? Oh, it's a different player. Oh, it was from a different player. Okay. Uh, my creature will get minus two, minus one. I'll block like that. That's cool. The trigger happens, I lose one life, not a big deal. But so far I'm winning uh, by the sky. But yeah, dude, you should definitely come. Like, I miss you, bro. It's been way too long. Mm, I will swim. I know, you're like the busiest person that I know. You're always doing something. Alright, I'm going to break this guy. And hopefully I draw something good. Oh, I can't do it. Oh yeah, that sucks. I'll just play my land and I'll swing for four because it's a race right now. That's med school. Are you a doctor yet? And Umbras, how come you haven't followed me yet? You need to click follow and you'll see a pretty cool animation. You'll like it. Alright, in order to kill this thing, I should be able to kill it now. And now I'll be able to draw two more cards. There you go. Uh, nothing crazy, but at least next turn I'll be able to scry. And this thing is a race, so I'm just gonna attack. Now, hopefully, my opponent doesn't draw anything and we actually win this match. You still have. Oh, a year and a half to go, okay. And yeah, we have the victory, guys! That's awesome, bros. I'm happy for you. But yeah, dude, you should definitely come and hang out. I know, uh, I know my wife and my uh, my son will be super happy to see you.
Wait, what? I be only found the report button. Don't report me, you jackass. <laughs> no, there uh, there should be a section where he clicks uh, on follow. You, there's there should be several sections. You can follow. You can subscribe. You can give me bits. Alright, this hand. I mean, it's not the greatest hand, so I'm actually gonna mull again. Um, this hand got a lot, a lot worse. But my opponent just gave up, guys. <laughs> that was like the fastest victory ever. That was actually pretty cool. Our opponent just resigned. Nice. Flame prize. And somehow we have four victories now. Nice. One more victory and I'll be okay. Oh, you're on the iPad? Yeah, may it might be a little differently. I'm not sure. Do you guys know how to like follow someone if you're using your iPad? Maybe you can help out my little Frenchy guy. My petit ami. But yeah, dude, when you go to your uh, to your actually PC, don't forget to follow me. And also, guess what I'm doing this year? I've been collecting uh, all these parts because I'm actually building a PC from the scratch. It's gonna be a gaming PC. Oh yeah, it's gonna get real. Uh, I like this hand, so I'm gonna keep this. And we're also going first. And we are playing against Rabacadabra. Rabacadrava. Let's say hello to our um, interesting friend. And I guess I'll play this first so I can put my defender down. But yeah, so far I got the most important parts. <laughs> I got a lot of decals. I got uh, the power supply, which is a uh, A50 Envia, which is like super strong and super good. Now I gotta pass the turn. And the thing for the com uh, for the computer that I'm building is going to be Charizard. And I'm actually gonna be putting, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Uh, I made a video about it when I like did the unboxing and everything. All right, so whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land that isn't a mana ability or whatever, he deals one damage to the player. He can pay 5 and gives plus 3 plus 3 and gains menace into the end of turn. Alright, sweet. That resolves. Uh, we're gonna pass. Pass. And now we're gonna pinch him for 1. Oh, so I see. If I pinch, he actually affects me worse than him. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna switch to full screen fields for one second. Uh, Oh god, you actually cannot see it. Wait. Alright, I'll, I'll go back to the game. I'll show it. You, you can watch the video. There's a video on, uh, on my YouTube channel. But it's a freaking Charizard. Uh, it has RGB lights and everything. I'll put it inside oh, the case. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Someone follow me. I see you found a way. Nice. Uh, we need white, so we're gonna be playing now. And we're gonna cast another defender. And we're gonna end the turn. Yeah, it is a Pokeball. It is a crystal. And what happens is, like, I wanna be sitting this in the uh, inside the case, and he has RGB lights. So what's gonna happen is like the whole case already comes with RGB lights, so everything together is gonna look like mad cool. And I'm also putting uh, decals and everything of Charizard, so it will be a really nice project. All right. So whenever Gruul Buster attacks another target creature you control, gets plus X plus O until the end of turn, where X is the power of the creature. Okay. That resolves. Pass. Pass. And it's my turn. Oh yeah, we got the kitty. You know what that means. That means we're winning. I'm actually gonna be casting this first. And now I'm gonna play the kitty. And I'll end my turn. 
Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's, it's, it's happening. And my goal is to get it done before my birthday. So if you come to my birthday party this year, you'll definitely get to see it. But I'm hoping that it will come actually before my birthday party. We get to hang out. Uh, counter spell you control can be countered. Uh, creatures you control have riot. Oof. Okay, resolves. But yeah, any of you guys, have you guys ever built a computer yourselves? Gold Gilmesh. He can pay 3 and tap it. Target player destroys, uh, discards a card. Activate his ability only time you can cast a sorcery. Uh, he deals 1 damage to target opponent. Target opponent. Okay, or planeswalker. Resolves. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely pass my turn. Hmm. I'll cast one of my big guys. So hopefully I can get rid of some of his guys. And I'm just going to end my turn. No attacks. End my turn. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to, uh, well, not subscribe, <laughs> follow. You can subscribe if you want, but click follow, that helps a lot. Okay, so it's a 2-1 and then he can pay 4 mana, 1 green, and he gets plus 2 plus 2 until the end of turn. Alright, that resolves, that's fine. Ouch. That's a lot of freaking like little creatures. He had a really nice pull too, that's a really nice combo. Uh, I mean, I'll pass. There's really nothing I can do right now. Uh, choices, choices, choices. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stack this. I need cars. I need something so I can deal with all of this. Ouch. My opponent built a really nice consistent deck. Ooh, nice. Talking about consistency. I'll be able to cast my freaking 5-5. Five five. So now I, I just need to hold. If I can hold and cast this guy, and if he doesn't have any flyers, I should be good. Now, unfortunately, my one guy has to attack. But hopefully he blocks and like we trade with something. gonna double block all right that's good that's I'm okay with that yeah that's good thanks I could have sacked my creature actually to give it a Yeah, 3 damage there, 3 damage there. Done. And I'll end my turn. I could have sucked my guy to give my guy um, indestructible, but I want to keep this defender just for now. Because at this point, my opponent ran out of cards, so there's really nothing he can do. Okay, that's fine. Results. So what I'm actually gonna do? No, why cancel that? No, no, no. <sighs> I hate a new system of a magic arena. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Block there. Let's 
That's definitely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to block with my blocker. Yeah, it's my turn. I mean, I need to gain some life before I die, so I'm gonna bring this guy down first. And next, next, no attacks. So as long as my opponent doesn't cast anything crazy, we should be good. And talking about crazy stuff. Each creature you control gets plus one plus one counters on it. And it has trample. Ah, why? We were doing so well. That was like the best draw that you could have got. Kinda unfair. So he's not attacking, okay. No attacks. And my turn. Hopefully my opponent only drew a land. I'll be happy with that. Oh no, he he drew removal. I think he's just reading the cards. Talking about removal, it will be really nice if I get my uh, sorcery that I destroy one of his lands. I'll definitely get rid of his green. Alright, that resolves. He does not want to deal with the... Uh... Okay, that resolves too. I mean, I'll tray. I'm okay with that. Solves. Uh, okay, so that's for the attack. Pass, we click, now we block. Yeah, we're definitely gonna block there. And we're definitely gonna block there. Block. We'll take a little bit of damage, but at least we get rid of his big guy. My turn. And we are not attacking. So. so now our guy should be fine. We still have a long way to go though. He's a 16 life. Ah, sucks. But yeah, have you guys tried doing seal in uh, Magic Arena? Have you guys uh, tried any of the new cards yet? Have you guys decided what type of deck you're going to be building for the new set? I'm just super excited that in a few hours I'm going to be, you know, like, actually opening everything and like, the new card smell. <sighs> so good. <laughs> And of course, he made a freaking 4 4 elemental. Okay. And he has haste. Not bad. You see, right now our opponent is thinking super hard, like, what to do. I'm barely amazed by, like, uh, the ability of my opponent. He made, like, a really nice deck. Now, I got two copies of my sorcery that can destroy one of his lands, and I haven't drawn a single one. 24 lands left. Uh, okay, so how are we blocking this? So that's still a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, yeah, so I am definitely blocking. So I'm going to block like this. And I am going to block like this. Blocks. 
There we go. Oh, look. I uh, use this then. <laughs> Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Good, 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 good. Uh. I mean, I cannot cast this. I wish I could. And both of my lands are in tap, but at least I can cast. Okay, I guess not. Um, uh, no attacks. Why did he just skip the phase? Like, I really don't like the new update of Arena. Like, it literally just took my second main phase away from me, and I wanted to cast this guy. Also, was I like supposed to cast this first and then play my land? Is that how it works now? Oh, it has freaking menace. Oh, that's GG. That is GG. You see, the only reason I lost this match is because Arena changed everything. Like, all I did was play my land down. I should be able to cast my creature. Like, why do I have to cast a creature first and then put a land down? Like, that makes absolutely no sense. And it completely just, like, screwed me over. It's like, okay. But on the other hand, though, I... I guess because I didn't have the red source, and I mean the black source. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I am dead. I have to double block this stupid thing. But yeah. Good games. I feel like we did a lot better than expected, actually. Alright, so we got 4 wins and 3 losses. Not too bad, we, we were super close to going undefeated. And look at that, we got prizes. Yeah! Let's claim them. And now let's open some packs guys and see what we got. Okay. Oh yeah! First pack that we opened and look what we got. We got a freaking, freaking, freaking planeswalker. Jesus, like, damn, yeah. That is the best look ever. First bag, Planeswalker. Nice, 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 nice. I'm excited. Let's look at the second one. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Alright, it's not that bad. That's the enchantment that the other guy was using. Uh, when they're an opponent, cast a non creature spell. Uh, deals one damage to that play player. You can pay one and sacrifice uh, destroy target artifact enchantment. It deals two damage to that opponent you control. Uh, I actually like this a lot. It's pretty good. All right, let's see what we got last. I'm thinking I may be building a red green. Ooh, nice. That's always nice to get. Ooh, not bad. We were talking about this. Remember how we lost against this card before? Uh, if a creature dies, causing a trigger ability or a permanent you control to uh, trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Creatures, tokens you control have lifelink and vigilance. That's that's pretty cool, actually. But hey, those three packs were actually pretty sweet, so I'm happy about that. 